after the Olympic Trials Marathon um, yesterday, it, it takes a beating, though, you know, when you're running under five minutes a mile for, for 26 miles. But uh, I, I actually feel the best I ever have after a marathon uh, this morning. So hopefully I have a good fast recovery. My injuries for, to my Achilles that I had last year, that seems to be great. Hopefully a thing, uh, thing of the past. And I'm just ready to, to move on and try to make that track uh, Olympic team in track now. Um, in June is the Olympic uh, track and field trials for uh, for track, so I'm going to really try to focus on the 10K, uh, maybe get the American record back in the 5K. So it's going to be a lot of speed work from now on out. But uh, I got a really good base, and so um, you know that base fitness from this marathon training, lots of long miles. So that that'll pay dividends when I when I really get back to the track. That was the first time I've really done any real metabolic testing uh, to kind of see, you know, the science behind why I'm a good runner and what really my strengths are. And so we picked up a lot of really good information about uh, specific things that I can kind of do to, to help myself get better as an athlete and recover faster. You know, the body, um, it, it, it works, you know, in cycles and stuff, but, you know, you have to, you have to, you know, be as healthy as possible, and, and you know, being being fit and losing weight—that's the goal for a lot of people. And and there is a time and a place for that in training and doing it smartly. But right before the race and, and during the race, uh, it's really not the time to to try to have focus on the goals of trying to lose weight because your performance will definitely decrease. So you really want to do that in the, in the in the training leading up to it, and and try to make sure that you you, you do toe the line with as much energy as possible, so you can get right back out afterwards and get right back on those weight loss goals as well.